Welcome to ProStitcher Designer Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. Let's walk through the steps of setting up the general options. On the screen, we will start by clicking on the Settings tab. On the ribbon here, we have one button. It's the General Options. We'll click on this, and we have the Options screen open up. There's four tabs across the top. We'll start with the Environment tab. We can choose whether we want to have our measurements in inches or metric. Our default style doesn't need to be changed. There's only one option. Our default palette here is actually our thread palette. And as quilters, we know how much we love to play with thread. And look, we can do it digitally. Look at all those awesome thread palettes that are available. Language. You can choose to have your post or designer in English, Chinese, Dutch, French, German, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, or even Korean. And we have an autosave feature. And you can choose here how often it will autosave. Seven is the default. Feel free to change that if you'd like. Our next tab is the machine tab. This is where we set up our quilting space. So this is your throat space. So if you measure the frame of your machine, the width and the height, and enter them in there, when you use the quilting space button under the view tab and it shows up on the screen, it will be correct for your setup. And then the DXF default units, we can change from inches to millimeters here. Our next tab is the grid tab. We have a lot of options here. We have spacing, so we can choose in inches because that's what I have my default set at. I have it set so that I have a quarter inch uh, horizontally and vertically, and I can choose a color for these ones. And these are for the minor lines. If you look out here and see these minor lines that are very faint, that's what this spacing is set up for. The major lines, which are the darker lines that go here, as you can see on the screen, you can choose how often those will be. And I said, I have mine set at four, which means that I have one of these lines every inch. And once again, you can choose a different color if you'd like. You can choose the style of your lines. You can have dashed lines, solid lines, or dots. And under shape, this is really fun. We have a rectangle, a diamond, or you can have both. So depending on the type of design you want to set up, you can have a grid that will be perfect for it. In our options, we can turn on snap to grid for when you're designing, snap to your guidelines, and snap to anchor points. And then we also have our snap resolution, which means how exact it will be. And we can choose to have our grid show in front of the design if you'd like. Our final tab in the options is the view tab. Our selection will be highlighted in whatever color we choose here. And we can click on this and change it to a different color if you'd like. We can have our property tabs show as icons, or we can turn that function off. And we can have on-screen typing or not, depending on whether we have this selected. We can auto-close the zoom and pan tools, which means over here in the quick access tools, if I click on zoom and I have this selected, it will automatically go back to select after it's used. And this option right here, use the left click on palette to apply color, means that down here, if I have a design selected on my screen, I can come down here and do a left click, which is just your normal mouse click, to change the color of the, the thread. Or if I do not select this one, I use my right click for that. Be sure to customize the options before you get started so that you can have all the features you'd like to have available on your design page. Once I've made all my changes here, I click OK and then they're applied to my designs.